Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's going to be reviewing the Kia EV6 GT. Before we get in this video, I'm going to give a huge shout out and thank you to the Doug Smith Kia here in American Fork, Utah for giving me some time with this EV6. I'm going to include a link to the website in the description down below so you can check what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you're going to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this is a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery pack paired to a dual electric motor setup. This is able to get just over 200 miles of range on a charge and it puts out a whopping 576 horsepower and then 545 pound-feet of torque. Now before we move forward with this review, I do want to mention if you want to see more videos just like this then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, I love the metallic white paint on this particular one. It looks really good, especially in contrast to the darker elements on the car. And then the headlight design on the EV6 is crazy. You can see more dark trim here at the bottom. And putting it all together, I mean, it has such a sporty look for an electric vehicle. Now around the side here, our tire wheel setup is 255, 40, 21 in the front and over in the rear. And you can see here with the wheels, you got the silver with the blacked out element. And then I love the acid green brake caliper. I think that's another cool part about the GT. We've got these nice painted fender flares. You can see that trim continues along the side. And then notice how the pillar and the mirror cap has been blacked out. And then of course, we've got the pop out door handles. And then here is your full side view with the EV6 GT. And then take a look at the key fob. We have a remote start function, self park function with the Kia logo. And then we have our lock and unlock function opening for the hatch as well. And we'll pop that open. And popping inside here, you guys can see there's quite a bit of storage space. Again, the EV6 has a pretty small silhouette on the outside, but yeah, I mean, this is pretty practical. Obviously vertical space isn't massive because of the sloping design. And when you're all done, just press that button and that will lower the hatch right back down. And that's actually pretty fast. Thought that lowers down. Got the crazy design here in the back with the tail light. And then you can see here with all of the badging, including our GT badge here at the bottom. And putting it all together, let me guys think about the looks here with the GT. And then popping inside, really nice trim here and down below. And then I like the darker trim here. And notice heated seat as well. And you can see the trim that goes to the door handle. And then really nice trim all down the center. And again, got the acid green accenting, which is cool. And then legroom in the back is actually really solid. Got some USB ports here in the back too. And then we of course have a cup holder armrest. And then when it comes to headroom, it's good. And then take a look at the front door panel again, soft touch here and down below. And then all of our window controls get our mirror adjustments. The mirrors do power fold in. Got blind spot running with the mirrors too. And then more of that acid green accenting with the GT logo, really aggressive front bucket seats. I mean, look how crazy that is. That is manually adjustable, it's one downside. And then we do have the pedals here at the bottom. And you can see opening up the charging port, your hatch, parking brake, and then for the stability control. And then that's pretty cool with the trim and the dash. Now take a look at the steering wheel, nice trim all around. Again, more of that acid green stitching and I like get that on the GT mode, how it's also acid green, that's pretty fun. Uh, and then you do have this for the other drive modes. Um, practical controls in the front, like your volume voice command controls. You do have paddles there in the back for the regen system. And then we've got our little stocks there too. And then take a look at the gauge cluster, really cool design. So this is in that GT mode. And then we've got other drive modes like a sport mode and normal mode that, you know, look pretty normal, right? 360 camera system, which is a nice feature. Trajectory lines turn with the steering wheel. And we got this cool exterior shot there it shows lots of stuff on the car and then as for the rest of the infotainment system uh, response time is pretty quick i like how it instantly shows us the charge and the range that we currently have and then do have an ev tab for that as well uh, the other cool part is it'll let you know if you have the climb controls off how far you'll be able to make it uh, but yeah overall really easy system to use and then again that trim goes across that's pretty cool looking and then we do have our dual zone climate controls. Uh, they also double as the radio controls, so you just switch it with that little button there. It's kind of an interesting feature. And then we've got some little charging ports and everything down below. Uh, heated seats, heated steering wheel, and then we've got our stop start with our transmission selector below that. And then you got your auto hold here, with the camera, and then the parking sensors, wireless phone charging pad, and then some more storage. And I like this in the center console. I think it's pretty cool. And then speaking of storage, the glove box there and then we do have a center up top 
Now taking a quick look at the window sticker, pretty much everything is standard equipment, uh, basically paint and floor mats I guess are optional. Anyways, 63,660 is the total MSRP on this one. And I'm running out of space to walk backwards. Let's see how it drives. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility over the hood. Both of the mirrors do a blind spotting. Throw the rest of the rear. Kind of an interesting viewpoint all around with the EV6 GT. But yeah, let us set off here in the EV6. Uh, so I did a, I think I did a GT line earlier in the years, like that weird green colors, that North special North American edition. But I decided to do another EV6 review to get the GT. If you guys want to see any other packages on the EV6, let me know and I can uh, get something for you. But yeah, we're doing GT today. I'm going to be a little bit of a different uh, test drive than normal. Uh, for this particular review, but you know, I'll do do what I can to get you guys some sort of driving impression. And, and I've, I've already reviewed one of these, um, so it's not like I'm not, you know, uh, it's not like I'm unfamiliar with the car. I'm very familiar with kind of how this performs and all of that. What I will say, though, no, just kind of starting off, is it's definitely, I mean, EVs have their own kind of like feel, but this definitely has a sportier edge to it compared to what you normally expect with an electric vehicle pop into the gt mode i know it's pointless right here but trust me we got a little we got a little racetrack coming up here in a moment you guys will appreciate we'll be able to get a solid acceleration seats are definitely like sporty as can be i mean they're you know the bolstering's really really aggressive and and yeah, they're not uh they're comfortable though so I was gonna say they're not uncomfortable, but it's it's good that they're this buckety because the suspension of this car is kind of it's firm, so it's nice to have something that really holds you in place. Okay, so this will be kind of our little get a little acceleration here. We we'll get another one coming back down, but I just want to see like partial throttle. Actually, let's pop it into the eco mode. Let's see how that. Just like most electric cars, when you go from, you know, the normal mode to the sport mode, I mean, it makes a huge difference in them. And <laughs> yeah, this thing's quick. It, <laughs> it is quick. My goodness. I mean, it's just boom and you're up. It's crazy. Wow. It, I mean, obviously, you know, being all wheel drive, it puts down the power, but man, that is crazy. That's crazy. Yeah, I mean, again, I already did kind of like a floor view. These these handle really well. I mean, it's best way to look at this is even though this is a four door vehicle, it's like a sports car. It's a sports car electric vehicle. That's what I. That's how I would you know look at the EV6 uh, GT. I mean, you can obviously daily drive this, and you can drive it in. You know, I would definitely change up the tires uh, before I took it in snowy conditions. But you could. I think I can get through here. You could drive this in snowy conditions. Um, so. Yeah, overall, let me know if you guys think if there's a market for, I guess, performance EVs like this, where again, it's kind of a, uh, it is a four-door car, but it's also like a, it's like a sports car. It's like a sport EV. Um, or do you think that it's a little bit too soon uh, for that? And then aside from that, um, let me know what you guys think about the overall like style. I think the GT is really cool with the style. I think they did a good job with just how this looks, the interior, and I mean, now they've got the new EV9. That's also really cool. That's more practical, obviously, but yeah. Let me know what you guys think about the EV6 uh, GT. And uh, do you think this is the best EV6 to get also? Would you go GT or would you go, you know, GT line or wind? Uh, what it kind of looks like with the lineup is the wind, right, is your range version. The GT line is kind of like a in-between, like it's sportier, but it's not all in on sport like the GT is where this is, like I said, it's, I would see this as more of kind of like an electric sports car in a way.